Using baselines. We've mentioned baselines already in this course. Now it is time to actually learn what a baseline is and how to use it in project. By definition, a baseline is the detailed project against which actual work is tracked. It is kind of like detailed plans for your new home before you ever start to build it. It tells you how your house is going to look, what supplies you're going to need, and gives you an estimate of how much it is all going to cost before any work is actually started. A baseline in project is saved in your project file. It exists alongside any activity that goes on with your tasks. A baseline is helpful to you for several reasons. You can use your baseline and the actual activity to explain delays or going over budget. It helps you track when and where you wanted to go when you started the project with where you are actually going. It also helps you see how close to the schedule you are keeping. After you save a baseline and get some activity going, you get baseline and data, as well as baseline versus actual. You can save a baseline at any time by going to the Set Baseline dialog box. You can find this in the Project tab, then click on the Set Baseline button here in the Schedule group. Click on the drop down arrow and then click on Set Baseline. Now you can see this dialog box. Now you can select the entire project or just select tasks by clicking on the radio box in the For section. If you choose selected tasks, select how the baseline rolls up or summarizes. Then click on OK. You can also clear and reset baselines if plans, costs or anything else related to the project changes. If you want to clear the baseline for certain tasks, select them and then go to the project tab. Then click on set baseline and then click on clear baseline. You'll then see the clear baseline dialog box. Select if you want to clear the baseline for the entire project or selected tasks. For this example, we're going to use selected tasks because we've already said to select those tasks. If you want to clear the baseline for the entire project, you simply wouldn't select tasks. Next, from the clear baseline list, select the baseline that you want to clear. This here is the one that we've just created. Then click on OK. Interim plans are like mini baselines. They only save the timing information and not resource assignments, costs and so on. And this is only for tasks that have activity tracked on them as well as baseline start and finish dates for all tasks that haven't yet started. An interim plan is a lot smaller of a file than a baseline. It is helpful to use to record date changes but not overwrite the original baseline cost data. You save interim plans using the same dialog box that you use to set your baseline. However, instead of checking Set Baseline, you'll check Set Interim Plan. Next, use the drop down box here to select the data to copy to the interim plan, then where you want to copy it into. Select if you want to save the interim plans for the entire project or selected tasks. If you choose to save for selected tasks, Make sure you select how you want to roll up the baselines. Click OK when you're finished. You can also clear and reset interim plans just as you did baselines. If you want to clear interim plans, go to the Project tab. Select the downward arrow for the Set Baseline button again. Then click on Clear Baseline. You'll then see the Clear Baseline dialog box. Put a check mark to the left of Clear Interim Plan. Next, from the Clear Interim Plan drop down menu, select the interim plan that you want to clear. Select if you want to clear the interim plan for the entire project or for selected tasks. Then click the OK button when you're finished. Sometimes, even the best laid plans go awry. Maybe you are suddenly over budget or you're going to miss a very important deadline. Perhaps you have a basic idea of what went wrong because you've been managing every aspect and communicating with everyone on your team. 
But still, you need to be able to explain to the powers that be what went wrong and justify whatever occurred. Then, you have to fix it to save your project and maybe even your job. If you've kept interim plans, baselines and task notes, then it is going to be much easier to show where things got off track and explain exactly what went wrong. Your interim plans and baselines will show you where you got off track and why. They'll also show adjustments that you made to get past major problems. You'll also be able to show your boss that you are managing things all along and that the major problem is not because of lack of management. To view your baseline and interim plans, go to the Gantt chart view. Right-click on the column heading area of the sheet pane, then select Insert Column. A new column is then inserted. As you can see, you do not have to choose a column from the drop-down list. Instead, you can now name the column where it says Type Column Name. You might choose Start 1 to 10 and Finish 1 to 10 for an interim plan or Baseline 10 for a baseline. You can repeat these steps for additional columns that you want to add. Your task notes should tell you about the resources assigned to a task, vendor problems, as well as late deliveries. You can also use these notes to show what went wrong and to explain why. Here are other things you can do to troubleshoot and possibly fix problems in the project. Resource leveling. This can solve conflicts with resources that may be holding up progress on your project. Cut costs. You can sort tasks by cost. Concentrate on the higher cost tasks and trim things that are nice but you really do not need. Delete tasks to save time. Filter tasks by priority, then trash low priority ones that you might not need. Review task timing. Sort by duration with the longest tasks first. You may be able to save time this way. Review task drivers. With this, you can review why the timing for tasks is falling like it is. Reasons could be dependencies and constraints. Go to the View tab, then click the drop-down arrow besides the Sort button. Select an option from the drop-down menu. You might sort by start date or cost, for example. If you want to sort by additional criteria, click Sort by at the bottom of this drop-down menu. You'll then see this dialog box. Choose the criteria in the Sort by field here. Choose if you want to sort by ascending or descending. Add additional sort criteria in the then by fields. Then click on sort. If you want to return to your original sort order, which was ID, go to the view tab and click sort by ID in the sort drop down menu. We already learned about filters in a previous lesson. When you are troubleshooting, Filters can be extremely helpful to pinpoint what's wrong and what you need to fix. Remember, you can find filters under the View tab in the Data group. Click the downward arrow to view the drop-down menu. Select an option to view a filter. To reset the filter, click on the drop-down menu again and then click on No Filter. In this table here, you'll see a list of different filters along with what they display. This should help you isolate any problems much easier than if you tried to sort through all the information at once by yourself. For example, the critical filter displays tasks that have to be completed on time if you're going to make the final deadline or the critical path. This is a continuation with more filters and what they display.